Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up the pack for Modbus communication with the Cognex. Uh, all I did was go to File, New, and created an empty project, gave it uh, whatever name I like, hit OK, and then when we right click on the project, we can add a device. We're going to go ahead and add our pack. Make sure you select the right model. Uh, once it's added, it's going to auto populate everything you see below. And the next step is to go ahead and connect to the pack. So make sure you're connected. Um, for this video, I didn't have the pack with me, but to get an idea, the pack would show up right underneath here. Uh, you could click OK, and then once you hit OK, this green light would come on showing you that you're connected to the pack. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is under Application, I would right-click that and add an object and add a global variable list. Uh, this is a list of variables you can use throughout your entire program. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add two, uh, one for a count variable that will read in the dot count from the Cognex camera. Uh, so it's going to have to be a word. And then I'm going to create another variable called trigger, which I will use to trigger the Cognex camera. And because that's just going to be an on and off value, it will be a Boolean. Uh, and you can see we were set up right there. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go under Ethercat Master and make sure it's set as a cyclical event, which it is. Uh, we're going to change this interval from 4,000 to 2,000, and it will be saved. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to add an Ethernet device. And uh, so we're going to under right-click on Pack, Add Device, and make sure we select Vendor All. And then we'll see under Ethernet adapter, the only one available is Ethernet. Uh, click Add Device. Uh, under this, under Ethernet, it will allow us to add a device called the Modbus Master. And in this application, the pack will be acting as the Modbus Master. So once we go ahead and add the master, we'll have to add a slave under that. And the slave will represent the Cognex in this application. So once again, right click, Add Device. You can see it's only giving us one option. We click Modbus Slave, Add Device. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to set up the Modbus TCP Slave and set up some channels. So we're going to give it the IP address of the Cognex, which we'll just say right now is 12168.10.52. And it needs a unit ID. This can be whatever you'd like. I just select one. Um, now we're going to add some channels. One channel is going to be reading in the blob count from the Cognex camera. Um, so that is going to be stored at holding register 30,010. So in hexadecimal, that's 753A. You can see that's what I set as my offset. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a comma here so I know what it is in my program. And it's going to be blob count. Well, once I'm finished with that, I can hit OK. And I'm going to add another channel which will act as our trigger. So to trigger the Cognex camera, we have to write to a Modbus coil, which is for a single coil function code 5. So this is going to be trigger the camera, uh, write to coil number 8. Um, so because we're writing to coil number 8, we're going to have to go down below and change our offset to 0x0008. And I'll just go ahead and type it in right now. Hit OK once I'm through. And now these two channels have been added. So now I can map those global variables I created to those channels so we can see what's, what's happening with them. We can write to them and read from them. So the word, the, the holding register that we're reading from, I'm going to set that equal to my count. So if I type in application, it's going to auto-populate a list. And you can see I chose GVL, which is my global, global variable list. And under that, I selected count. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the boolean that's going to be our trigger but this time I'll do application enter GVL enter and then select trigger so now both my count and my trigger are mapped to the global variable list I'm going to go ahead and make sure we use enable to so that this task is always in the bus cycle and uh, we should be good to go once we go online we'll be able to look at our global variable list and trigger the camera 